That's yeah. great. Yeah. How, how does a comedian and a drummer interact? That's some wild ass shit. At the I mean, well, everybody likes to laugh. Mm. And I got nice titties, so. <laughs> the best of both, both worlds. Yeah, yeah. And they're real. So. And, they're, and they're real. <laughs> so if I can make him laugh and I got nice titties, it's like, why not? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how that happens. People are all like, what do Brittany Furlong and Tommy Lee have in common? I'm like, a lot, bitch. Right here. Right here. <laughs> no, you know what's cool is, I mean, uh, she, she's obviously beautiful, but you know what? At, there's so many things that are, you know, you, you know, way, way more than skin deep. It's like, yeah. W and laughter is a big one, my man. Like we, a lot of t my face hurts most of the day from laughing so much. You know, your cheeks get sore. <laughs> so yeah. laughter is good, keeps you young, and you know, we have a lot of fun. We right? have we have more we're, fun than humans are allowed to have. And we're best friends too, which is like amazing. And, uh, it's so funny because during this quarantine, there's like so many of my friends that are like, I'm getting divorced or I'm getting separated because I can't. The people are finding that they can't stand each other. You know, they're stuck together and they can't stand each other. And they're like, fuck, I, I don't want to be with this person anymore. But we spend like all of our time together. And it's just so funny. Like this quarantine <laughs> hasn't done anything to like we just probably just, just gotten closer you just yeah like it's <laughs> like we just spend all our time together anyway so it's like funny to see i have all these friends that for the first time in their lives they're having to stay home with their partner and they're the kind of girls like, that oh. aren't home that much and they're like yeah fuck this like we're breaking up and i'm like damn and they're like how are you doing and i'm like we're great we're making tiktoks <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's so funny. When I started dating Tommy, I lost 100,000 followers. What? And I'm just thinking it was because they were, like, thirsty dudes that wanted to fuck me. And now that I, and then I got married and, like, all this shit. And they're, they're, like, like, oh, they're like, fuck this bitch. And they just like, followed me. So, yeah, I actually lost people. But I don't give a fuck. Bye. So, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Bye. I don't, I don't See care. Ya. Peace. See ya. <laughs> See ya. Deuces. Well, I'm like, I'm chilling. See ya. Hater. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. You're, you're, you're like very anti-Trump, and you know a lot of people are. But all we need is answers, and it's not yeah. even like hate the president. All we want is answers, and I feel like they know something, but they're not trying to tell us. I, yeah. That's what, it, that's what definitely what it feels like. They're just a bunch of nonsense. You're like, what does this have to do with anything, man? What is going on, bro? They never want to tell you like the thing we want to hear. Like, when is the vaccine coming out? Who's working on the vaccine? Who got the vaccine? Is, yeah. there, is there a vaccine coming? But they keep, <laughs> is there? <laughs> they be talking about like, yo, oh, we got this guy in today, and it's like the guy that owns like, you know, all the CVSs, or they're now, oh, we got this other guy. That, you, you know, there's some kind of like money transaction going on if the president got like eight people that run like different corporations that's going to benefit from the COVID nineteen. It's, it's, I, I mean, that's what I'm looking at. I just want to know when is it going to stop, or when, even if it's not going to stop, tell me it's not going to stop, so uh, I can out what to do yeah exactly right so you know. tell me that it's fucked up i'd rather you be on tv like yo it's fucked up yeah yeah this is really fucked up here's what you need to do run <laughs> get out of here it's over it's a wrap it's time to go post up in the maldives somewhere <laughs> where is i mean i'm sure you have like talk, you chat with your other rich homies where where is a safe place that this person can hide like the people that i know are at home and they're bugging out because they're not used to just staying home. <laughs> you know, I'm used to staying at home because my studio's here, so I don't really go anywhere. Well, uh, a lot of your fans are freaked out because uh, the big tour, which was sold out, was supposed to go down this year. Sold out stadium tour. And we're tripping. We're just waiting to see what's going on. I mean, God willing, hopefully 2021. I mean, they're, they're going to respect the tickets, but hopefully 2000, yeah. I mean, God willing, it pops off next year. Like I know, I, man, it's the craziest shit, dude. Especially in your world, like you, you're you're in front of like fifty thousand, hundred thousand people. Like, how are they gonna regulate that? I do not know, man. Can you imagine? <laughs> try, can you imagine trying to figure that out? I, I, you, you know, people are scrambling trying to figure out how to pull it off. Is it? Is it? Is it the end of the mosh pit? Like, is is that gonna end now?
<laughs> you ever thought about that? Is mosh pitting is it over for mosh pits? Like, yo, I saw I saw some I saw some cats trying to like sort out like the new place to like to you know to throw down a concert, and they're talking about like drive-in movie like drive-in theaters. But DJ Carnage is doing that. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Stay in your car and like ah, ah, what the fuck is that? With the speaker with on the window rolled down. <laughs> that you have machine gun kelly play as you how, how was that like to see that i know he's your good friend dude he mur he murdered it like <laughs> that's crazy yo. it couldn't have been anybody better like we're literally like the fact that we're friends like it was the coolest shit ever like he he calls me up he's like bro you're not gonna fucking believe this i'm like what he goes i'm playing you in the movie i was like what <laughs> he's like i'm coming over I'm coming over right now. I got the fucking script. You and I, we're gonna sit down. I'm. We're gonna go through every single thing. Wow. Because like he goes, I'm gonna make you proud. I'm gonna fucking nail this shit. And I never seen somebody with so much dedication. I was bugged out. I was like, man, this he's serious. And I mean, he's cool. We've been buddies. I and I I knew he would kill it, but he went like above and beyond he looked like three or four months worth the drum lessons and learning all the spins the stick spinning and stick throws and tosses that i do he got every single thing dialed in and i was like man just mm -hmm. dedication man he murdered it murdered it the hair what, what did you say when you saw him with the hair <laughs> dude yeah it's so crazy watching him run around on a speedo, <laughs> uh, and yo, check this out, dude. He was in, he was in like the, he was in the makeup trailer. This is every day, okay, mm. four hours taken off, removing all, not removing, but covering up all his tattoos, and then putting all mine on every day for four hours. I would have been like, <laughs> <laughs> and and here's what's crazy. Like, let's just get like weird for a second. Do you know anybody that has it? <laughs> That's crazy. I, I'm I'm serious. I know one cat, and I'm and I'm not so sure that he had it. But and I know a lot of people. One. And now you know the scams are going on around here, where you get like money from the government from. Instead of you dying from a heart attack, you could be like, yo, my husband died from this, and then you get like a paycheck. Like that's what that's what's so crazy about this world, man. You can't you don't know what to believe or and no, then the are out there heavy. There's like I'm loans going out now, like some guys got like fake businesses and they're getting like million dollar loans and shit. I know. <laughs> I know I do I'm about to do that shit, man. <laughs> I know. It's so hard to know what's going on. And God God forbid you watch the news. Everything's breaking news. I'm like, how is every single thing breaking news? But for the most part, there's my, there's my beautiful. Hello. What's up, Brittany? How's it going? What's the next TikTok? When are you going to have him on there? Oh, my God, dead. <laughs> I, tor I torture him every day. I torture. make him do TikTok. He's always running for the hills, huh? He's Dude, running. She's like, baby, come here. Let's do so another TikTok. Scared. I'm like, no. I forced him, I forced the tickety talks upon him. The tickety talks are so fucking. Isn't it crazy that you're a social media queen trying to teach a legendary like rock? Oh, <laughs> I know it's so weird. Actually, it's so not his world. He like hates social media. To be honest, he's like he probably delete all his shit if he if he could, but <laughs> his team would kill him. But it's funny because I just keep exposing him to it and making him hate it even more. So, some of it's fun though. She. Yo, don't tell me you made him do the Drake, the Drake Tootsie Roll. Did, did, did he ever do that dance? Like, that's no, kind of... we're, I'm not really into like dances, but I'm into like, you know, if something's, you know, like the recent one where like hitting your boyfriend in the head with a bag. 
that's like the one thing that I love doing. That was really fun. I, I don't know. I like doing more of the funny stuff, not really like the dancing, not like the like TikTok dancing <laughs> stuff. I'm totally uncoordinated, so. Push, push. Mm. She, oh. she's on a show. I got a, a, a new record coming out June 5th, and she is on a track, and man, I'm, I'm Ooh, she's a firecracker. I'm trying to leak that shit early. I'm trying to leak that song early, by the way. I know we, we can't. We can't. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> but I don't know if you've heard it, but Jesus, she's that girl's fire, dude. And she's from South Africa. Oh my and, God. Woo! <laughs> Man, wait, I wait till you hear this. I like that South African, uh, you know, English, you know, Dizzy Rascal. Yeah. Uh, I, I just I like that that fiery vibe with that act, that heavy accent. It just sounds so dirty and cool. For you, like, what clubs were you partying at? Like, any legendary spots like Studio Fifty Four or you? I mean, I've, I've, you been, I've been there. Remember, uh, you were there. Yeah, I, yeah. Remember, uh, remember, um, uh, was it Limelight? Yeah, Limelight. Peter Gation. Yeah, dude. I'm there. Oh, Limelight was sick. That was at a church. Yeah. Yes, that place was cool. <laughs> <laughs> that, play, that was nice and weird. Uh. Um, someone just asked what the money's being used for. It's being used for people that work in the clubs and stuff right now that are out of work, right? Because yeah, restaurants, clubs. Restaurants, you yeah. know, bar, people, bartenders and stuff. You know, bartenders were the most balling people until this happened, you know? And then the, like, you, know, you worked in the bar, and now it's like, uh, what happened to that job? It's definitely something like, you know, if, if you, if customer service and stuff like that was your business and working in food service, it really is hard. I mean, I know a couple, a lot of restaurants out here are trying to maintain by doing takeout, but it's not the same. You know, all the waitresses and waiters that, you know, were needed to serve people are not needed as much for takeout, maybe just like one or two. So it's, it's kind of really, it's really a bummer for a lot of people, honestly. Yeah. Before y'all go, do y'all smoke weed together during quarantine? You know, I used to smoke a lot of weed, and then I started to get really paranoid, and so oh. now, and now I'm just we're just completely sober. Oh, yeah. okay. so oh. how about that? We're going through all this shit completely sober, and we haven't killed each other yet. That's a, that's that's amazing. Right? He's like, that's amazing. I know we were actually like it's so funny. We were like walking, and all we had trash night, and out of curiosity, we were like, let's just see what the fucking situation is. And we were like just looking in trash. All of it was like alcohol bottles. Dude, like, people everywhere. are drinking. People are ripping like, alcohol. Alcohol sales are up three hundred and twenty-five percent. Dude, bro, our neighbors. We're in the wrong business, our bro. Neighbors. Well, I'm delighted. All right. Hey, Greta. <laughs> yes. Uh, what color panties are you wearing? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Moving right along, gentlemen. Always nice to see you, Nikki. See if you can't bring some other friends next time. Anyway, thank you, Motley Crew. <laughs>